Okay, here we go. We're going with uh, 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. Okay, this one is, of course, the Bone Shaker. Favorite, favorite for many, including me. Uh, this unit was, was purchased brand new, so needless to say, it's going to have a, a decent paint job and, and condition per the factory's you know final output. And I'm not saying that I collected all of these. I know there were several, you know, several different versions. We have, of course, five here that we're going to share with you. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good series. I like the way they detail these things. And that gold really pops, you know, on with that black. And it can be de detailed a little bit more. I mean, like the pipes themselves, for instance, down here at the pipes, you know, you might uh, paint those black, give it a, I, you know, give it the look that there's, you know, uh, depth, that, that the pipes are empty or, you know, that, that, that the pipes are actually real and make them look a little more real. I guess what I'm saying is when you look at the pipes and you see that, the, you know, you see the black inside, you'll think, okay, yeah, it gives the idea that the pipes are more real and be better for photography and such. Same with the ones on the top. And these will be good too for uh, special effects. They'd be good for special effects where you can get fire, you know, make the thing breathe fire or whatever. Maybe even put a driver inside of it. So yeah, I like this one. Bone Shaker. Next one. 65 Ford Ranchero. Okay, you got a little bit of something there. This one looks good too. I like the designs on them. I like I like the uh, kind of uh, you know square angles that this thing has. And once again, the gold tone really pops with that black. Very good looking unit. I would imagine the production unit for this particular vehicle is probably being used for, you know, of course, it could have been, been a regular, I wouldn't say a family vehicle, not, unless it was modified later with the uh, unit on the back. But it could be used for, you know, racing or for show or many different things. And it could almost be a, you know, family, family uh, vehicle. So... The Ranchero. Okay. And we have the 64 Impala. Let's have a little bit of something on the roof. Oh, okay, okay, that's all it was. Yeah, 64 Impala. Looks good. 50th anniversary edition. 64 Impala. Paint job is good on it, looks like, except for whatever that is on the side. Looks like some of that gold tone is a little, little faded right here, huh? Oh well, could just be the lighting. Without, without, without really close analysis, a lot of this may not show up right away. You know, some of the flaws. Or assumed flaws. You even got the bottom side gold let's take it this way made in Malaysia 64 Impala copyright 2003 nice looking interior Somewhat see the interior. Okay. 50th anniversary edition Impala. Chevy Impala. This one's a Dodge Dart. Nice. 
It has really good uh, angles on it too. Looks something something like you'd uh, you know beef up and put on your drag strip as far as a production model. Real good looking car. 68 Dodge Dart. Yeah, a lot of cars in that time period, that time era. Oh, we got a couple little issues here. I have to look into that. A lot of cars in that time era were, or in later years, were used as muscle cars. And, you know, some were intended for that purpose, but some were intended for, like, you know, just a dad's everyday car. But it turns out that these things are beefed up. I mean, most of them pretty much ran with V8s, and, you know, they did a lot of things with them. And some became, you know, cars with a drag strip, some not. Okay. You've got a strange little something here. It's almost like there's a... I'm looking at it. It's not just uh, paint, or it's either something in the paint, or in the uh, actual cast when they when they when they put this thing in the mold. I'm get, oh yeah, it, it's got to be the paint. There's no way the mold's gonna make a, a uh, defect that big because that's raised. It's not like it's in a dent. It's raised. And they had if they had a mold that was damaged that bad, hell, they would have thrown this car away and they throw that mold away. But there's another one right here on the edge, so I may have to just, huh. I think the only way to fix this, unfortunately, is to ruin the car. <laughs> ruin, it, ruin it from its uh, original intended purpose, which is, you know, 50th anniversary edition with this nice paint job. But yet, in order to fix this, you're going to have to either be real careful and sand it and repaint just these, this rear panel here and, and maybe the trunk lid. Maybe this whole area, because that paint... I mean, it'll be very hard to match it 100%, so it's best to paint a whole area where it's harder to notice with the naked eye, instead of like just some little... But then again, if you can set it down well enough, maybe you can just do a little dab here, dab there, and, uh, you know, redo it, but you can see how bad that is. See? That's a... That's a uh, it's not concave, it's convex. That's sticking out like a pimple. Two of them. No big deal. If I ever use this in a project for photography or, or videography, I can shoot at, at an angle where you don't see it. So there's ways of, of hiding it. So it's probably not really worth fixing. Just leave it as is. It's good for training purposes or whatever, I guess, if anything else. There's not, not a little dent up front here. Okay. Not bad, though. 1970, Roger Dodgers, what this one's called. 1970s model. And... Yeah, another nice looking unit there. I like that engine, the way it's set up. I mean, but realistically... I mean, unless you want to brag about having a gold-plated engine, something like that, if it's, if it's used or whatever for a project, I'd probably paint the engine silver. I don't know. Or maybe, you you know, leave it. Make a fantasy piece or something where it doesn't matter if the engine's gold, because in real life you won't see that. A lot of, lot of gold, tone on, gold tone on here. It's a good-looking car. Okay, got the pipes on the side. Seems like it seems like it's in pretty good shape. This particular unit. So pretty good shape. Interior included. Two seater there. I, oh, I can't tell really. Unless we get down and get real detailed on it. I think it's a two-seater. Yeah. So if if a person wanted to, I mean, you could go ahead and detail it out. This one plus the others that are all gold tone. But, uh, you know, to make it more, uh, I want to say realistic, but we know that it's a toy, of course. To make it a little more detailed and a little more appealing, I think, it might be not a bad idea to detail it out. It may take a little time. I mean, there's several things that would have to be done. You know, for instance, the uh, pipes. 
Get the pipes down here. Like I mentioned before, little black ends maybe. You know, the uh, water pipe should be empty. <laughs> and up top here, paint the whole engine white or uh, silver. Or, you know, engine tone or whatever. Whatever that might, that might be. Could also add a few more little details up front here. Let's see. Also add a little more details up front here too. You know, where you got the, uh, got the unit up front. Rollers and such, pulleys. So yeah. Good looking car. 